Welcome to all. I am Sadhana. I am studying in St. Francavius Anglo Indian as a Kendi school in Broadway. And I am a student of Junior IAS Academy. Today I am going to take science, biology, Unit 24 Environmental Science. Today I am going to take Environmental Science. Introduction. Nature has the power to refresh and renew. This was written by Helen Killer. This lines. Uh, she said that uh, nature have uh, some powers, like some superpowers. They have uh, the power of refreshment. They can refresh her and renew them, like that. And elements of nature will be continuously undergone changes and transformation many more. Environment's protection are that for nature provides that uh, knowledge about the natural process, effects of human intervention and solution to overcome the environmental problems. The environmental protection was key. And Many environmental issues are there. The environmental issues such as pollution, global warming, ozone layer, acid rain, like that, uh, this and all some uh, environmental uh, issues, landslides, drought, like that. Uh, they, uh, from that, uh, this landslide, uh, land uh, slide, uh, global warming, pollution, and ozone layer depletion, acid rain that got the that gained that got the major focus across the world. That the natural resources are recycled over and over again on earth for continued availability. Uh, the uh, natural uh, resources that are coming again and again that uh, using at the same time. It also reminds us of our, uh, of our responsibilities. We have some responsibilities to reduce, reuse and restrain our activities that um, will affect the natural process also. Living organisms adjust themselves according to their habitat where they are living and changes in the ecosystem. All living organisms develop certain morphology, and the physiology and really protective adaptation which help them to survive better and to withstand environmental conditions. This lesson that will deal with the biogeous cycles and adaption of the plants and animals, water conservation and recycling of the water. This is an introduction for the environmental science. Let's start with our topics. Biogeochemical cycle. In that biogeochemical cycles, bio means life, geo means earth. There are biosphere is in a part of the earth. Uh, in the four spheres, the biosphere also one sphere. The four spheres are lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere and biosphere. The biosphere also a sphere of the earth. All of the resources, the biosphere can group into two major categories. That the two major categories are biotic components and abiotic components. Biotic or living factors, we can say. Abiotic or non-living factors. When biotic means that will have the uh, living things, living organisms in them. And abiotic means they will have um, non-living organisms. Uh, they will not. Non-living things. In biotic, uh, they will include the bacteria, plants, animals and all other living organisms there. And next in abiotic, uh, that non-living factors that include all the factors, they are non-living. Like temperature, pressure, light, soil, air, water, minerals, sunlight, like that. And which affect, the, uh, which have the uh, which have that ability to affect the organism to survive and reproduce. 
there is constant interaction between biotic and abiotic components in the biosphere and that makes the biosphere dynamic and the stable system cyclic flow of nutrition between the non living and the living factors of the environment are termed as a biogeo cycle that two are termed like this and some of the important biogeo cycles are there they are one as water cycle nitrogen cycle and carbon cycle let's see what is water cycle we know that water cycle is, uh, that uh, mainly evaporation will de will be there condensation uh, condensation and the precipitation transpiration sublimation like that will be there in that they are given as a briefly water cycle they are also called as an hydrological cycle they will have the continuous movement they will not be in one place that water will have a movement always the movement of the water on the earth in this process water moves from one reservoir to another by processing of evaporation they will get by that and the sublimation transpiration condensation precipitation surface runoff and infiltration during which water converts into various forms there are three forms that are the various forms are like a liquid solid and vapor or uh, gas water vapor let's see what is evaporation the evaporation means that is the evaporation is an a type of vapors that will convert into a gas the liquid will be converted into gas before they will have a boiling point uh, they will have a reaching its boiling point before that itself that will converted into gas and the water evaporates from the surface of the earth and uh, water bodies like uh, such as oceans seas lakes ponds and rivers from this only the evaporation will take and sublimation the sublimation is the conversion of a solid Conver uh, conversion of solid to gas without passing through the intermediate liquid base the ice sheets will be on the mountains the ice sheets will be there and the ice caps from the north and the south poles and uh, the ice caps on the mountains they will get converted into water vapor directly without changing into liquid state by that itself they will be converted and they will be stately they will be gone there that is called as an a sublimation the transpiration uh, will be taken from the plants that is the process by which the plants uh, they will give the water they will release water vapor into the atmosphere by the stomata in their leaves and stems they will have that the stomata is in a part of on a plants and that will give uh, that will release the water vapor there into the atmosphere that process is called as the net transpiration next is condensation that the condensation is uh, that change of gas base into liquid base that will change our gas into liquid and that reverse the evaporation the evaporation that will convert the liquid into gas but the condensation convert it as an a reverse that will convert gas into liquid like that they convert as an evaporation we get the rain from that uh, process uh, at the higher altitudes that uh, temperature is low means that will happen the water vapor present their conditions to form various very tiny particles like uh, water droplets these particles come closer together to form uh, the clouds and the fog for that uh, the particles will be combined and they will become as on a cloud or on a fog like that and uh, next is precipitation the precipitation that is uh, due to the change of on a wind or a temperature or a clouds combine and that uh, begin and make bigger droplets that uh, that uh, the clouds combine means to make a big 
droplets for that uh, clouds will combine and do that and pour down as an a precipitation precipitation means rain the precipitation includes the drizzle rain snow and hail that will come under this also not only as a rain a snow hail and drizzle runoff runoff means that will go off that is the surface runoff that uh, as the water pours down that uh, pours down as like a rain that means uh, it runs over the surface of the earth and that is i all low like that that will go there and next uh, that will uh, go and that will run off the combines from uh, form channels like in a river where they are going they will form like this river or a lake and ends up with seas and the ocean they will combine in that place infiltration some of the precipitation is there now the water moves deep into the soil and then it moves down and increase the ground water level the ground water level is there no that uh, by that uh, water getting to the earth that will go deeper to the soil and that will come out and uh, get into the ocean and uh, prick and the precolization that some of the uh, that precipitate water flows through the soil and that will uh, get into the rock uh, through the soil and that will get into the fractal rock that infiltration and precolization are two related but they will take a different process to process describing the movement of the water through the soil this will uh, happen again and again evaporation sublimation transpiration condensation precipitation runoff infiltration and precipitation this will be happening again and again at last the waters will be go and settle down in the ocean seas like that places only and next the uh, human impacts on water cycle is major human activities are affecting the water cycle on the land or urbanizing dumping or plastic waste in the water putting all the plastic things on that and uh, on land and into the water also polluting the water bodies and deforestation let's see what is the nitrogen cycle next is nitrogen cycle that the nitrogen cycle means that is an important nutrient needed to the living organism for importantly for living organisms like on plants that is important for that the nitrogen contain a rich nutrition in that it have uh, essentially compounded by the proteins of proteins dna and chlorophyll atmosphere is a rich source of nitrogen that atmosphere have a 78 percentage of nitrogen in the atmosphere plants and the animals cannot utilize the atmosphere nitrogen they can use it only for uh, their purpose the form of ammonia ammonic acids or nitrate for that only they can use that uh, the atmospheric nitrogen process involved in the nitrogen cycle or nitrogen fixation and uh, there will be a nitrogen fixation that uh, the conversion of uh, ni- atmospheric nitrogen which they have in inerted form to react compounds available to living organisms that is done by number of bacteria blue green algae like that and ligneous plants like an a uh, pain plant and beans have an a uh, symbiotic relationship with that uh, nitrogen um, that they have and uh, that will be the nitrogen fixing bacteria is ribosome ribosobium ribosobium occurs in the root nodules they will be on the root root nodules they will be there and they will be going and fix the nitrogen compounds in that root nodules 
that is uh, that help uh, do, done by rhizobium nitrogen next is nitrogen assemblization there uh, will be plant tested the plant will absorb the nitrates nitrates and they will use them for making the organic matter like proteins and the nucleic acid they will absorb the nitrates by for that only they will absorb that and they will do that uh, proteins and the nucleic acid for them or any other purpose and air previous animals is there no animals they will convert the plant protein into animal protein the animals or oh, what are there that will convert that plant proteins into the animal proteins and the animals who are synthesize the proteins from their food they will having uh, eating the animals itself the animals the lion will eat the deer no that an the lion will get that and uh, they will synthesize the proteins from their food they will get that proteins from their food and ammonia fixation is that the process of decomposition of nitrogen waste uh, by purifying the bacteria and fungi into ammonium components is called ammonification that is that a process is called as ammonification the animal proteins are extracted from the urea uric acid or ammonia by that they will extract that and the bacteria and fungi they will decompose that and the animal oh, which are there that animal proteins and uh, the dead animals and the plants they will decompose that and they will convert it into ammonic components and new nitrification that nitrification the ammonium components are then that will be formed by ammonification process or oxidized and to soluble nitrates the process of nitrate formation is known as nitrification the bacteria responsible for nitrification also called as as nitrifying bacteria denitrification also there that the denitrification is that free living soil bacteria is all there you know that such as uh, they will be there and they will reduce the nitrate of soil into gaseous nitrate which they enters into the atmosphere and they will do that human impacts on nitrogen cycle burning fossil fuels application of nitrogen based fertilizers and other activities can increase the amount of biological available nitrogen in ecosystem and the nitrogen applied to agricultural feed enters river and marine system it alternates the biodiversity changes to the food web structure and destroy the general habitat itself that will be changed all that destroyed the general habitat itself the third one in the biogeochemical cycle is carbon cycle let's see what is an a carbon cycle that the carbon the carbon means the carbon dioxide we know the carbon dioxide we will not take it about the uh, plants will take that carbon dioxide and give us uh, oxygen that the carbon occurs in the various forms in the earth that are also there in the earth that uh, the diamond and the charcoal and uh, some other uh, elements forms of the carbon that will combine and forms the combined forms of the carbon include the carbon monoxide carbon dioxide and the carbonate salts the combined forms will be the, uh, that will be include these types of carbons there are all living organisms are made up of carbon containing molecules like an a protein and nucleic acids these are uh, these sources that will contain into them they will contain this and the atmospheric carbon dioxide will be enters into the plants through the process of photosynthesis to form the carbon hydrates 
when their uh, plant grows means they want uh, the, the we are uh, breathing the air that is oxygen we are using the air that is oxygen but the plants use carbon dioxide that will take inhale the carbon dioxide the plants the plants uh, will get the carbon dioxide get entered by the photosynthesis that is the um, plant will get by the food by the photosynthesis the carbon dioxide go by that process to the plant and uh, that the atmospheric dioxide entered into the plant through the photo entities to form the carbohydrates from plants that will pass to the herbivores and carnivores that pass to another thing that is herbivores and carnivores during the respiration during the respiration plants and animals release carbon into the atmosphere in the form of carbon dioxide the carbon dioxide is also returned to the atmosphere through the decomposition and decaying of uh, a dead organic matter dead organic things burning or the fossil fuels and the volcanic activities by that also the carbonic dioxide that will return to the atmosphere by these things and the human impacts on the carbon cycle is that uh, more carbon moves into the atmosphere due to the burning of fuels fossil fuels and deforestation by that the carbon moves into atmosphere more most of the carbon in atmosphere is in the carbon uh, form of the carbon dioxide only the carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas by increasing the amount of the carbon dioxide earth becomes more warmer and that the more warmer that thing will affect the earth that uh, leads to greenhouse effect and the global warming will be occur by this only global warming are occurring let's recall cyclic flow on the nutrition between non living environment and living organisms are termed as biogeo cycle by that only we are getting that biogeo cycles and the ammonium compounds formed by ammonification process is oxide soluble nitrates and the process of the nitrate forms known as the nitrification that the process is known like that in the nitrogen cycle we have learned that in the water cycle we have learned about the evaporation evaporation that is a type of the vaporization sublimation that convert the gas stately to liquid and transportation the uh, transpiration that will uh, uh, get the water from the stomata of plants by leaves and stems condensation that have the reverse change of the evaporation like gas into liquid base precipitation due to the wind due to the change of temperature and many things that precipitation will occur that will pour down as a rain runoff as the water pours down it run to the earth surface and the infiltration that will go the water will go deep to the into the soil and the pre collocation pre collocation that uh, the some of the water will go through the soil and the rock that uh, the interfiltration and pre collocation pre collocation are two related but they will have two different process by describing the water movements in nitrogen cycle the atmosphere is a rich source of nitrogen and that contains about 78 percentage of nitrogen plants and uh, animal that will utilize the atmospheric nitrogen and in nitrogen fixation the conserve is done by the number of bacteria blue green algae by that and uh, the rhizome will occurs in the root nodules of liquid plants and fixed nutrition compounds and in the carbon cycle their combined forms of carbon include carbon monoxide carbon dioxide and carbonic salts
during the respiration plants and animals release the carbon into the atmosphere in the form of carbon dioxide thank you